Well, we're extremely gratified to see this ruling come down and relieved because we didn't know if there might be a change after that leaked draft or, or there might have been some horrific event like the assassination of a justice, which would have uh, completely upended the ruling. So thank God none of that happened. And we're, we're here on this day. Um, you know, we're really gratified here at the Pro-Life Action League at the role we've played over the last 42 years since our founding in 1980 to really bring this issue in front of the American people and to keep reminding them about the violence being done to unborn children and the injustice of abortion. Uh, in addition, the harm that abortion does to American families, to American women. You know, we really believe that abortion on demand has been uh, horrifically devastating for American families and for American women, including women who've not had abortions. You know, a lot of women regret their abortions, but every woman has had to live with the specter of abortion in her life, that her enjoyment of the blessings of liberty might be contingent upon her having to participate in the death of her own child. What a horrible message we've been sending to women about what that capacity to become pregnant is. We ought to look at pregnancy, the ability to bear a child as a superpower. And instead we treat it as some sort of a, a malignant um, disease or something that has to be medicated out of existence, something to be ashamed of. We've organized our entire economy around the capacity of men not to become pregnant and then impose that same masculine sort of model on all working women. We have not provided parental leave. We've not provided flexible hours for women. We have not provided what mothers and fathers say they want, which is time with their kids. Uh, so I, I pray that this will lead to at least some states beginning to solve those problems and really extend uh, to, to the right to life to unborn children, but the right to enjoy society and participate in society fully without having to participate in, you know, in the bloody death of your own child, a thing that women don't want to do. Um, and I think there's room for common ground there because we know that two thirds of women seeking abortions say they feel coerced. Well, there's a huge number of unwanted abortions, hundreds of thousands of unwanted abortions in our country every year. Can't we agree that we should try to limit those? You know, we need to protect women from the predation of men, especially poor women, the most vulnerable, who have essentially been told that they have to be sexually available to men because abortion is always there for them. And uh, we really have deprived them of their dignity in, in a large respect with abortion as a solution for poverty. It's no solution at all to any human problem to be killing innocent people. The focus has been so much on abortion and our focus has not been on abortion. It's always been on the baby. And that's what decision and all this discussion has been about is about a particular procedure, the actual killing of the baby when Legislative, we, we, that has never been our approach. Since 1975, American Life League has always been about the baby. It's always been about the policies that will protect that child, to recognize that human being, to give, grant him the rights that are owed to him, to recognize him as a person, not so much uh, let's regulate abortion in order to minimize the killing. No, that preborn baby is a human being. That's where our focus has always been. It's giving him back the rights that are owed to him. The same rights that you and I have, they also are owed to that preborn child. Um, the way I the way we looked at this decision handed down by the court was that this is monumental, but at the same time, it's inconsequential. That is, we understand this is the overruling of a grave injustice that's been imposed upon this nation, uh, but at the end of the day, babies are still going to die. This doesn't end the abortion tragedy. It doesn't end the violence that's going on in this country. It's still going to happen today. It's still going to happen tomorrow. You can still go to New York. You can still go to California and have your baby killed, and the court's decision has no bearing on that. 